Hey everyone, the good captain here, and welcome to mission number six in the Russian campaign for Allied General. This will be part one of Dnieper. Okay. Uh, I've reviewed the objectives, and uh, oh, what to say about this scenario? Uh, I guess we'll just start with the objectives. We, we have to take Cherkasy up in the top left corner. We have to take Nipropetrovsk here in the center. That's going to be our first objective. We have to take Krivoy Rog. And uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, and we have to take Miltopol down here in the southeast. To get the major, we have to have Kyrgyzstan, Aroslav, and this one here, Karavagrad. Okay, so there we go. And we have to hold all the objectives that we start with. So, uh, oh yeah, real quick, before I continue, quick shout out to Sweb. Uh, I really appreciate the comments, my dude. I'm something of an amateur military historian, but I, uh, I think you've got me on the Russian uh, front. I, I know, I've read, I've read a lot of strategic level books and war memoirs. And uh, so strategically, or when we're talking at that level, you know, that bigger level, I know quite a bit about the battle of, or the siege, I should say, of Leningrad. Of course, Stalingrad was always a favorite of mine to read about. I touched on Kursk and the Battle of Berlin. But, uh, you know, there is so much, <laughs> there is so much, you know, about uh, the fighting around Moscow uh, that I don't know about. Kharkov, I think there were two battles there, right? I don't know much about that. Uh, obviously, we're in the Ukraine now. I, I don't know very much about this. I, I know that the there was a... I, th I feel like I've read about the crossing of the Dnieper River at some point. <laughs> and uh, I'll just say this as a complete side note having nothing to do with anything what that we're doing here on uh, this YouTube channel, but I have to say, as somebody who reads a lot of first-hand accounts, a lot of war memoirs, the Russian uh, soldiers have the most fascinating stories, uh, namely their infantrymen. I have never read a pilot's war memoir. I've read several tanker, uh, Soviet tankers, and uh, at least one of them was obviously just almost like so much. So much of it was so, so clearly fabricated. It was I got through it, but it was uh, ridiculous. Uh, but here, I'm going to read off three titles of mine. If if you ever find a copy of Tank Rider by Evgeny Bezanov, Penalty Strike by Alexander Pilsen, or Red Road from Stalingrad by Manzer Abdulin. The, the, and I, I, you're talk, I'm, I'm talking as somebody who has read a lot of first-hand accounts from American, British. I have two from the Japanese side. Believe it or not, those are extremely hard to come by, by the way. Uh, but the Russians just have the most... Oh, good Lord. The fighting on this front is just... Oh, geez. I mean... Um... You know, there's some, I think the the brutality might be matched by how the Japanese were in the Pacific, but this is just an incredible, the, like, the, the wholesale slaughter is just insane. It's, it's really not fathomable. The, the numbers of lives the Russians lost, I won't go down this road too far, but it, it, it is an incredible cost. It, it pales in comparison to the losses the West suffered. And, you know, I'm a former army captain. I'm not pro-Russian. I'm just saying, if you just, if if a Martian arrived on Earth and study, just looked at what happened in World War II, it would look like the Russian people, among all others, 
paid in, in, in a hugely inordinate cost in terms of lives lost. But anyway, there, and there's of course there's reasons for that, and I'm, we're, gonna, we're here to play a game and have fun. I don't want to get off on too much of a tangent. But anyway, I just think that their their memoirs are really just they're hard to put down. It's just nuts, terrifying. Anyway, here we go. Um, all right, so what we need to do here is, and I, I kind of did some of this off screen, uh, we need to upgrade these KV-1 Model 41s to T-34 Model 43s. And the main reason we need to do this is because of that sixth hex range. We, we have a lot of travel to get the major victory on this one, and I am fixing to try to get the major. I think we can do it. I have normally do it with the KV series tanks, but I remember it being a turn 13 fight and a, a close and narrow win at that, and I don't want to mess around with it. And when I compare these two tanks, I, I do give up, or I'm sorry, <clears throat> when I compare these two tanks, I give up one point of ground defense by switching to the T-34. I give up three points of air defense. I give up a point of close defense, right? So, so far so bad, but we're actually, the soft attack and hard attack are the same. Uh, we go up in fuel, we go down in ammo, but here's the key, we go up in movement by one point, okay? That's what I'm, I'm, uh, you know, making this upgrade for. We've got a lot of ground to cover, and I'll go over that momentarily. But for now, we go, we mod we switch to T thirty four forty threes, and and we have the we have the prestige to spend. So we need to. There there are many disadvantages to being the allies to being the Russians in Panzer General and Allied General. Prestige in the campaign games is not one of them. We have to indulge in our advantages, and that's one of them. So, Mig threes become Yak nine Ms. I know I sort of. Uh, you know, I, I, it's so hard to use the Panzer General Prima strategy guide. It's not really set up to be uh, easily referenced to see what you're going to get and when. You can do it, it's just tedious, and I think I misjudged uh, the Yak 9, or when I would upgrade. The Yak 9M is clearly the superior aircraft. Uh, it's air attack goes up by two points, its air defense goes up by three points. Uh, it does sacrifice a movement and a little bit of fuel and one ammo point, but it, you know what, we're, these are fighter aircraft. We, we need them to get better at air attack and air defense. That's their job. So they're not, this is not the British campaign. These are not mosquitoes that have great ground attack and soft attack and hard attack values. I mean to say the Soviet Air Force is, is built differently than than the Western Allies are in this game. So again, it's there's no issue with prestige. So let's indulge. So that's that. Um, now the map. One thing to say about this northern shoulder. Uh, generally speaking, whatever you send up here is what I call mobility killed. In other words, once we take Cherkasy, we can leisurely take Karavograd, right? 13 turns to take these two objectives. In in a pinch, we might be able to help out at Krivoy Rog, but the main objective up here is just to secure these these two. And uh, we're just going to basically use whatever assets we have at our disposal up here, plus maybe some new new purchases. The the 100% of my army is going right here, right where this Dnieper River crossing is, because there are three objectives real close by. So uh, we'll snap those up as quick as we can. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take much more than six or seven turns. And then we'll start heading southwest, and I'll demonstrate that in a moment. But the, the, the last major city we need to take is to use these non-core units, push south, See, seize Meltapol, and then I'll start with this group here. Once they seize Meltapol, they're going to run across this big open piece of ground towards Kherson. And in, uh, well, hopefully at the same time, my army will be mopping up these two objectives in the center of the map and then heading south towards Beroslav. Uh, that's the plan, anyway. 
uh, the German Air Force is active in this one, so we're going to treat this like we did in Vyazma. We're going to build some air defense units and help use them to help grind down or weaken the uh, otherwise invincible Luftwaffe, or nearly invincible. Uh, the, I can't remember what they have, but it's 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 tough. It's it's tough being this, the Red Air Force. I don't remember it being this much of a struggle, but um, yeah, I guess in the last scenario where there was no fighting, but the, the scenarios before that, it, one of the one of the reasons I think we don't have as much as expe much experience. We, we don't gain as much experience as we would if we were uh, like Western Allied forces or German forces is that Soviet fighters are just kind of realizing this in this scenario. Why are these units not promoting as quick as they, I feel like they do in other CGs? And I think it's because their soft and hard attack is pretty awful. Like the, the MiG-3s the MiG had a 1-1 one, one, soft attack, hard attack. And when you're not doing damage, you're not gaining experience. So they basically have almost no opportunity to do damage to anything other than air units. And when all the air units are more experienced, if not better, than your equipment, than your pilots, then it's hard to get them. It's hard to get them up there. Uh, so we're basically halfway through the CG, and most of our fighters are, uh, you know kind of lagging or I feel like they are anyway but we'll see okay so um, is there anything else to say oh yeah we have five core units we need to purchase uh, it'll be another fighter another tactical bomber another two tanks and I'm not sure what the fifth one will be but we'll get to that later okay artillery So I think our biggest, baddest gun should go here. Next, the next gun should go, yeah, here. And then armor here, 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 and here. And then, yeah, the engineers can stay on the opposite side of the river. Ah, uh, you can come here. Okay, and the Air Force, I don't think there's any math to this, just fall in. Okay, and let's begin. Uh, right, uh, yes, okay, this is um, one, th one thing I remember about this scenario, yeah, up here. Cherkasy, there, there are Germans hidden in them hills, <laughs> and I think they're just, just pretty much dotted along the Dnieper, and you've got to kill them all, because if you don't, then they, they take objectives and whatnot but yeah we're not gonna be crossing the river willy-nilly uh, yeah uh, okay where to start Let, let's start down here in the south uh, Uh, I, I can't remember what the condition of the Luftwaffe is in or where they're placed, but one safe default is that the AI or the snare designers place air units over their airfields. So as you can see here in the Propotrovsk, we see a Stuka and ostensibly there's other things around it. So. 
Let's let's stay down here. Uh, four three. No, of course we will not attack. We're not in position. Let's let's pull back, but let's do that in a moment. Let's not do that now. IL two M three. Right. We start out so far away from a friendly airfield that we cannot actually move into these spaces without not being able to fly back unless we take the airfield in Miltipal. So I think we'll kick this off. I'm afraid of getting jumped by whatever's in Miltipal airfield though. So. Two star, one star. Yeah, and we. I don't think there's any safe way about this. I, the thing that's frustrating me and causing me to blink here is that the fact that there's no air defense with this group, and there's no way to give it one. There's no city anywhere, like at all, for them. So this air force. Uh, Entrenchment 3, Entrenchment 3, wow. Yeah, we need to soften them up, so. Let's begin. Okay, 0 and 3, and we got 3. Yeah, we'll eliminate these. Yeah, we should be okay. We'll eliminate these infantry units and hopefully black out so that the AI has to hopefully run into our bombers and then we'll have fighter escorts. At least that's the idea. Yeah. It's just bomb leaves 0 and 2. 0 and 2. Very nice. 0 and 4 with the arty. And this is a 1, 5, 2. Yeah, that's fine. Shell it. And he blasted 7. Very nice. And we'll move aggressively because I plan on clearing this fellow out right now. So we'll use a KV because he's got more ammo. Actually, I don't think that's going to matter one iota. Hmm. Soft attack 8. The SU-85s have a soft attack 10 and better initiative so yeah move the su-85s in against this Wehrmacht infantry oh and four looks pretty good yeah that's what we'll do oh and four okay good and now T70 is a, a decent heart attack, but nothing for hard, for nothing for soft. So, ammo yeah, six with these SU85s, though, so we can't go crazy with them. Let's bring up, yeah, BTs. Yeah. Um, or we could start moving around. I, I kind of like the BT series tank. Its mobility is just shockingly, amazingly good. So let's see. Yeah, let's have T-34s clean this out and start. Uh, yeah, here looks pretty good. Yeah. Start looping around the rear just to have that opportunity to get at their arties. You. Uh, let's bring up the T-70s. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, what's their spotting of three? So if we want to just look at these forward hexes, that's one, two, three here. Take a look. Nobody home. So we should be out of view so we can elite replacement, overstrength this one star fellow. Yeah, now we'll pull you back. Bring you up. Uh, should we bring 
him up. Let's bring him here. And SE-122s, okay. I like these things, I just hate how much, how little ammo they carry. What is it, like three or four, right? Why can't I see the ammo? Where is it? Oh, ammo up here, duh, four, yeah. Okay, so you'll move here. Uh, bring in artillery support in case they decide to pop out. You'll come down here. You'll come, you'll head towards the road, I reckon, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Pretty easy. Okay, uh, let's attach fighter escorts to both of these bombers. Uh, I'm. I kind of want to put it here, even though. Yeah, it, it'll provide protection to a lot of the ground forces there. A Yak 9M and a Yak 7B. Uh, I guess just. Yeah. Definitely need to put an escort on you. I'll come back to you then. I want to kind of, I kind of want to see what's in Zep, Zeporoz, Zeporozje. Anyway, I'll just ignore the J E. I'll just say Zaporoz. Uh, can we? You know what? I'm gonna have to work from the middle and go out. Uh, we need it. We need to, This is the priority. Uh, yes, we have T-70s. Do we have a position with which? One, two, three. Wow, putting them right there. I don't think I'm going to move that artillery. So this spot in the hills. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I could go here. One, two, three, but I can't see beyond it. No, you go here and turn on the lights. Okay, what do we have? One star BF-109E. Air defense, 10. And a two star Stuka. A two star uh, flak, flak 38, range 2, so it's not an 88, but it is experienced. Hmm. There's opportunity here because we have an artillery that can smash that AA. Then we remove this Wehrmacht Infantry 1 star from its location and swing our T-34s up and around. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, if that, and if we remove the A again, can we get the RD? 1, 2, one, two, three. No, because the zone of control of the AT gun blocks it. Okay, so probably not getting the RD this turn. But the AA... Sorry, this is dragging. It's just I gotta compute in my head. How can we do the most damage? Let me move. I have to be careful here. Let's. I want to check, and I, I'm gonna click one and six. Okay, so we actually maybe I take back what I said earlier. This twelve, I overstrengthed my best fighter, and we can deal with that BF one oh nine. Just can't, I just can't mess this up. Uh, entrenchment three, two star. This to me seems the most obvious. This, no matter what, this needs to happen. Yes, we did two over what it said we would do and we will stay in place. So that's, he's ready to be plucked. 
Uh, next, let's make sure this infantry gets removed properly, safely. Yeah, we need to, we, this spot needs to be, yeah, he needs to end up here. So yeah, we have to do it like this. Yeah, as much as I hate to occupy that space. So next, one star, let's put our rookie on this guy, 0 and 2. And he did three. Okay, everybody's shooting a little up. So far the dice are kind to us, and we got our first star. Very, very nice. Okay, who's going to remove him? We have to do that basically right now. Huh. I'm not sure what the best... I'd ever like to use you. Yeah. Use this guy. Okay, now we're ready to execute that. Uh, uh, it's a two-star... Yeah, this guy's got no stars. Can we... A little risky using this guy, but... Yeah, already... Ah. Um, well, there's no... Ah, dang, that's annoying. I can't risk him staying alive. We have to deal with him. So now we have to... Sh directly engage the Luftwaffe at some risk because there's airfields galore but yeah we can't I don't think we have an option we need to we, we can't let these people fly around we've got to engage uh, for some reason this makes me nervous but all right let's do it one six not good oh my <laughs> Are you kidding me? They lost three. I lost six. That was my elite fighter. It said I would lose one and he would lose six. That was that must have been the most extreme die roll in that guy's favor. I'm not even sure how to proceed here. I Oh, we have units back here that can't reach. <laughs> oh, that's so frustrating. Well, there's it's not a question. Oh my god, it's so frustrating. Oh my god. Yes, we have to move here. The only way we can protect this two-star from being destroyed outright now is to sh literally use our bodies to shield him from counterattacking Luftwaffe. Of course, it's still alive. At least I didn't take a hit this time. And we're definitely seen. This guy has a range of four, so he sees everything. Ah, uh, not that it mattered. That, not that that part mattered. We're, we're seen anyway. God. Wow. I uh, don't have a choice. I have to put. I have to put a guy in. I have to put a guy. I'll put him here. And then I have to do this other unpalatable thing and put a bomber. My least uh, mission essential bomber goes here. <laughs> and oh, and I had lost a guy doing it. Wow. This is okay. This is. I spoke too soon when I said things are going well, and now my only other fighter has to box in the, the Stuka, right? He has to go like this, attack. He did, he did what they said would happen, 0 and 6, and now the Stuka can't move. Oh, God, this is just crazy. I, there's a real... I. I 
I, I realize now I've just exposed a bomber, right? Because the Stuka can see this bomber. Holy moly. Oh, man. I, I just... Wow. Am I going to lose... How many... Am I going to lose stuff? How bad is this? That shouldn't have happened. It all started with that terrible die roll. And just those those little those guys with one strength left. It. Oh man! All right, quit moaning. Let's go. One and five. Ugh. You know what? We already have one guy hanging. Wow. We eliminate him. We go dark. This guy is just, there's not much we can do for him. Yeah, bomb. Eliminate this guy. Uh, let's go here. Another one -er. Yeah, just pick it up. Okay. He'll move here, but not do anything else. Huh. Let's check the possibility. Oh, and five, entrenchment three. What's the percentage of a rugged defense? 16. That's just about what I would say I'm willing to accept. No support. Yeah, just do it. Ugh. Oh my god. We lost five and we did one point. This is this is a this is atrocious. Wow. Wow. Um well, you know, normally I would move in, but just over strength. Overstrength. I can't believe I'm do. I gotta stuff this hex so they don't build new units. Uh, there's really no point for this guy to move up. So just overstrength in place. Overstrength in place. Actually, probably should have pulled him back. We're in range of the artillery. Well, it's better to hit him than hit us with something else. Overstrength. Uh, oh, you should. I could, yeah, we need to. You don't have trucks, and you're a two star. Yeah, you need to get to. You need to get to the upgrade. Um. Let's let's take some pictures. Let's go take a look at what's going on over. Yeah, these are level bombers. Same depiction as the IL two, but not not nearly as interesting. Um. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Let's. I'm afraid for these guys down here. So I need. I want to bring my air assets uh, within range to help with whatever's coming and turn on the lights so we can see some bad guys. Soft attack one, so yeah, they're terrible. Might as well strafe them. Actually, I'm not even gonna do that. I'm so pessimistic about the roll. Let's just move it. Okay. Uh, yeah, we do kind of need to get down there and kill these guys. Oh, and four. What's the chance of rugged? 14, so a little bit less than last time. Okay. Eh. Oh, and four. Yeah. 
Oh no, I moved to this guy and I shouldn't have. Ugh. Wow. That's probably a disband. This is a two star, so let's give him trucks and move him up next turn. Uh, this is an upgrade. We need a truck for him. Elite. Oh, you're stuck on the river. Pull back. Elite replacements. We're just taking our time over here. These are. There's no rush. No rush. Yeah, so we'll walk it. Just walk forward. No rush. Wait for the Germans to get cleared out. This guy's going to replenish a couple of strength points. How annoying. Okay, let's build some core units. Uh, yeah, the KV-85 is what we're going to purchase for... Up here, it's the only place we could set them, and this is the only place that makes sense, so. Um, you know, we also need artillery up here, I just realized, so. Let's buy two barrels of artillery. We're going to have to do some disbands, though, aren't we? Okay, you go there, you go there. Uh, fighter. Yeah, let's just drop everything on and up here. Fighter, tactical bomber. Uh, just another KV. It's probably fine. Tanks are never a bad purchase. Russians have good tanks. Okay. That's a disband. Too far away. Same with you. So that's two purchases. Uh, not a, no, we don't want to disband you yet. Cross the river, elite replacements, elite replacements. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So you will move here. And, oh, we see another German. Uh, someone's going to have to go mop him up. Uh, I suppose we'll just place you somewhere centralized. Let's put you, like, here. And cover all the... Well, let's make sure we're in range of the airfield, just in case we have to go kill a wounded air unit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So maybe one hex closer. Like here. That's probably good. Let's put you... Okay. And we're probably running out of fellas right now, running out of units to move. Hmm. One, two, yeah. Well, no, this is the last one. Um, hmm. Where do we go? I guess I guess I will put you here. And give the enemy its turn and see how badly. Okay. Okay. Huh. Yeah, that was a, a small error. I think I should have pulled him away from the Dnieper. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't see him until too late. Oh, I came out of their entrenchments. Not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, I figured that would happen. That's why I chose this inexperienced fellow to, to go eat go to go eat that hit. Uh I am surprised. Uh Oh, BF109G, Focke-Wulf, 
and it's the tactical bomber version which is an amazing unit it's just it's just it's just as good as a fuckable for the most part except it's also good at killing things on the ground uh, so two air units went north um Huh. Two star, two star. If 109F. Air defense is pretty good on that guy. Um, this is not bad. I. This could have been so much worse. So much worse. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. Eliminate this guy. And go on the airfield. Yeah, that AT gun should now be out of its entrenchment. It is, so we don't need to really bomb it so much. Uh, let's put our elite bomber on this artillery. Oh, wait, do we need elite bomber? Oh. I want to select. Ah, look at this. O and 7. Okay, so we I don't think we need the elite bomber. We could put a 1 star on it. Yeah, do 2 damage and... Yeah, he did three, so that should be the end of this artillery. Excellent. Okay, now we... Well... I suppose we should try to bust our way into town. O oh and three. O oh and three, so we could get that guy down to four. And with air support, we could get them lower than that and remove three entrenchment. And that might be enough for our T-34s to get into town. But why do that? Because then there'll be tanks in a city, the disadvantages associated with that, and an ATG with two stars of experience on the outside. You will probably go for elite replacements, but not right now. Yeah, do it. Okay. Yeah, they'll come here. Uh, I guess I've decided to go ahead and eliminate this ATG. And we'll take the city next turn. Yeah, elite replacements for you. I gotta patch up from all of the nonsense from earlier. Hmm. Alright, what else do we got? What else do we got? Uh, let's resolve the air battles down here. Uh, I think we... I think we can beat this guy. Let's find our best fighter unit, the AC-9M. Two stars. It says three, four. Should we go for it? Doesn't really get better. Let's go. Yes. Oh, and five. You know what? That almost makes up for that hideous roll from earlier. Um, let's go for the gusto. Let's just knock off this stuka. And yeah, we better fly this guy back. Take pictures, and that's what we're dealing with. Okay. Oh, yeah. And you know what? Two star, one star. Let's let's bomb this guy in the rear. And, and let's just dispense with him. Let's... hate to bring back a unit, but yeah, just eliminate it. No, no. These two are, these are too slow. Tanks... Let's send it. Yeah, send an SU 85 back and deal with it. That's annoying. Yes, replenish. Oh, there's a Stuka adjacent. I should I should have. Or uh, the Messerschmitts, I meant to say. But so, so let's learn from that. And yeah, push. He's a little hasty. Small error. I gotta stop making those small errors. And then this guy's gonna push around the flank. Hopefully. 
Uh, I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, yeah, we got to stop doing this. Let's put the T-70s into good use. Wait a minute, I think I see, yep, one, two, three, one, two, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here, I see an opportunity to... Oh, uh, let's, let's not screw this up. Let's first, you go here. Okay. Okay, perfect. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, wow, look at... Uh, no, 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 no. Wait, we could do it. Could we? Oh, and four? Uh, three for one. Okay, a, a little annoying, but you come here. You forget about going around. Oh, look at that. We can. Oh, and two. Yeah, let's do it. You guys here? you here and bring you here oh wow look at that almost fully support yeah this is a all right we choked them out uh if we hold and I, we should then uh then they won't <laughs> then yeah let's see entrenchment three entrenchment zero Yeah, let's put you here. Elite replacement. I think we're going to get this next turn. This is 152s, though. Let's not mess around with it. Let's bring you. Yeah, you'll come here. But everyone else will start. Start the long slog to, <laughs> to <laughs> Kherson. Huh. That's interesting. Okay. All right. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Uh, up here. Check the attack by the engineers. 3-2. How awful. This guy's got a two entrenchment. I think we're pretty much spent up here. I don't think there's a... Yeah, let's... Let, we got to dislodge... Yeah, on this guy. On this guy. Oh, and four, come on. Yes, good hit. And now, one and three. Two for two. Eh, okay. Yeah. One for one, swap. Uh, okay, three for two, I'll take that. Uh, uh, let's see, do we have... Fighter protection. Four. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to restrengthen this guy. Uh, can we do it? Oh, and four. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I picked. That. I meant to click. I thought I would click this. That's a misclick. Another small mistake. These are gonna pile up. I gotta, I gotta watch it. And now we have to do everything we can to destroy this unit. Ah, yeah. So we'll move here. Okay. Are you kidding me? I lost two for two on a guy against a guy on a river. Six six. Actually, that's. Uh, wow. Do we have a strafing? Yeah, we could we could probably make this work. Let's see. Zero zero. Yeah. Okay, so we reduce it by an entrenchment. All right, let's try that again. Six six. Yes, let's do it. Come on. <laughs> I just get zero oh and five. 
Oh, and five. Well, well, that's that. Uh, we are definitely not advancing against Nikopol uh, without more assets in place. So you will overstrength and overstrength. We'll get it next turn. Yeah, we need to bring them over. Yeah, a little risky, but I'm okay with that. You'll just chill? Um, I don't know if you're worth the trouble. It might be better to disband this guy at this point. No trucks, one star. They're not conscripts, though. Remember that? Remember that everybody used to be conscripts. Now they're, at least they're regulars. Uh, this up here, yeah, this is a little disconcerting, but there's not much we can do about it. Let's get our guys some training. A fighter, strafe this fellow on the river, 0-3. Or eliminate him. Rookie fighter picked up 21 XP, not bad for its first run. Uh, let's try to do the same thing. Against this recon, going four, and we got five. Very nice. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this, but we'll bomb. Yeah, level bomb that guy and move towards this airfield. Hmm. level bomber just moves up here. I... Russian level bombers are pretty terrible. As I recall. 0 and 4. 0 and 4. No. We, we need to eliminate whole units, so... 0 and 2? Okay, let's try this. Let's see what this... Hmm, only one, but we got a retreat out of it. Let's put you here. Uh, oh, and five, yeah. So he's dead, and we'll bring this unit across. This T thirty four comes down and kills this recon in there. Now we've mopped up both sides of the Dnieper, or you know, that side of the Dnieper River. Yeah, let's head down here for fuel. Uh, these guys, yeah, we've got to go up here for to protect the bombers. Yep, you have to go there. And now we just need to make sure everybody's got escorts. This guy's hanging in the breeze, so let's put an uh, escort on this guy. Um, you can come here. And you can attempt to strafe, I guess. Yeah. Hey, great. Excellent. Okay, you know what? That's great. Not not bad. I like it when the Russian fighters get some strafing hits. Okay. And now our fresh armor. Ah. <laughs> okay, 0 and 5. Looks good. Uh, okay, we eliminated a unit. Very nice. <laughs> wow. That's nice. Okay. Uh, I'm a little hesitant. This is since the Luftwaffe is so active up here. I'm kind of hesitant to put anyone in the trucks. So I won't. Yeah, so we'll get an overstrength point. You'll come into the woods. Get out of the rain. Uh, you'll stay, uh, stay put. Come on down. Uh, yeah, this was like, that's a potential disband. IL2M3. I think the airfield will fall soon. Um, hmm. 
I'm not sure what to do with this guy. I want to keep him local, so let's put let's put him here. Uh, yeah, they're stuck on the river, so they just they got a job to do. So that's that. Mm, you guys can no. The safest would be something like right. No, no, no. Let's get engineer. Let's get at least one engineer in range to dislodge that guy, or not dislodge that guy. Actually, that's a pretty. There's not much shells. Shells. Yeah, I'm okay with this only because we're artillery supported. And I want this engineers to be able to remove this guy up in the north end of Nepropetrovsk, so we can clear this and get on with it. I, I hate that it's going to have taken well, three whole turns to dislodge all that stuff, but okay, that's it. How many ox, ox we have? Two. Uh, I definitely want an artillery for the northern shoulder and I definitely want an air defense up there as well how many do I have one more or none none so ooh, this is gonna be a disband and I want another air defense Now I'm going to get one or two more in the center here. So we'll give the enemy its turn. Eh. Did I leave someone by him? Wait, where did that... Oh, God. Fuck a wolf's two of them. That was a risky move. I should... God dang it. Don't die, don't die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, we're... Yes, attack broken up. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That was what I was hoping. This was crazy. Uh, man, you know, who knew that they would have a re two-star recon? This guy's... Dang, that's that's that was huff, uh, rough. I know we're having around the hour mark already, but uh, I, I'm going to extend this out. I, I kind of want to... I kind of want to do one more turn to feel a little like I've got more progress in this scenario. I feel like I'm kind of slogging, taking really big hits in certain areas, and it's... But then again, we've given some good hits too, so give and take. Uh, yeah, this guy needs to be shelled. And then we should maneuver around... I think I'm going to put you here, and there's a reason to that madness. Uh, I'll just try to demonstrate it by executing this attack. See if we kill it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Kill him. Did not go well at all. Huh.
I suppose pull out of the city just to be safe. All right. Uh, this obviously shells the infantry ineffectually. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I messed it up. I meant to bring that artillery around behind my other artillery. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. No, no, no. Oh. That's a bother. Oh, man. One five, yes. Dang. So now, should we attack? Should we make this attack? Yeah, let's just... Good. Okay, that was worth it. Maybe we can... Maybe we can make this a non-issue. Oh, that's right. We have 152, so... <laughs> yeah, I need to take a break after this. This is I'm making many silly mistakes. Goodbye. Okay, yeah, we shut them down. I mean, they still technically could give us some grief, but yeah, this is this is over. Uh, this is wow. They came in with a vengeance here. Uh, yeah, we are in bad shape. These are. Yeah, fighter, fighter. Okay, this is the creme de la creme. Yeah, you've got to fly north. Get out of there. You, uh, should we... Yeah, fly north. Uh, for first, let's make sure we do what we need to do here. One and three? God, I'd hate to get bounced. Yeah, do it. And yeah, uh, yeah, so yeah, you come here and kill this. Alright, good job, guys. Uh, yeah, hit this. Come back and fuel. Okay, great. You. We'll seize this objective. You guys can pretty... Uh, I think we could disband these two at this point. Yes. Yes. Engineers, no. We need, we need you. You get elite replacements. We need to eliminate this unit. Uh, you know, it's a unit with eyes. We gotta take down the eyes. So uh, we gotta resolve this combat up here. Uh, resolve this situation. Right. Five and six. Okay, first you will shell. Five hits, very nice, and moves up. Two and four, yuck. Oh and four, much better. Three and four. Shell this other guy. Four hits, very nice, and move south. Oh, and five with entrenchment four. I don't believe it. We need to soften it with air power. Strafe. Okay. Take the rookie, hit the soft, smaller guy. More experienced guy hits this bigger unit. Okay, now they've been prepared. See if we can bounce this guy. Yeah. Should we go take a peek? Uh, 
Yeah, I'll put you in the hills there. Just keep an eye on what... Uh, we're not ready for the attack on Krivoit Rog, but... We'll be ready. Okay, you come here. Oh, two, four. Two, four as well. Huh. All right, fine. You know what? Use our better guy. Come on. Very nice. And yeah, we got to touch up these... Uh, I suppose we'll use our engineers and this guy. Bring our fighter back up to... Why can't I use it? Is it not my airfield? How do I... It's German still. Oh, good lord. All right, we have to touch up that as well. So, yeah, you... No, you come here. Actually... use you and now we can repair this fighter ah man that means nobody got refueled ah that was yeah, pff, stupid all right that's all right no no stay there in fact here, i'll just move you one notch here and the bombers okay and yeah you can pick up a Extra strength point. I'm sure we'll need it for the coming attack. You can walk forward. Okay. So what was I trying to figure out down here? Uh, here. Up here. Okay, we should be in the dark now. These fighters should be safe. They can't see us. Right, what do we do about this flock of wolves? There's really nothing we can do. They hit us right where we're weakest. We can't fight back. Our air units are not effective. Yeah, so we just run away. So we don't have enough. We have no, no advantage here at all. It's all to their advantage. So, um... Four and three? Oh, that's not terrible. I'm kind of game on that. We have our two-star Yak-9M within shooting distance. Uh, let's bring you north. Dude, should we go for it? Make, up, make some heroes? Yeah, come on, get them. Uh, that hurt. Okay, I think I killed this unit, but we did some damage. We did, this fuck of wolf is almost half dead. Yeah, these guys are just gonna. Oh, you dismount, and strengthen. Okay, coming to the end of the turn, I think. Um, yeah, we need to move into a better position. Let's move here. Okay, next. Okay, what are we doing up here? Oh, and four. Yeah, of course we attack. Eh. We got six. Kill him. Alright, let's go to the next guy. Three, yeah, hit him. <clears throat> Another. So this is weird. Two star yak, seven B, or four. Okay, actually, we can kind of. I think uh, the air defenses can't make it. Move in. In. Okay.
Okay. We can bait the hook. Yeah, you'll come south. You'll come north. We just... I think we kind of need to attrit them. Yeah, let's just give them the opportunity. I should have put this bomber up here. I should have moved everything up a notch. Oh well. Uh, them's the brakes. So elite replacements for you. Continue the march. Just afraid of getting bombed on, and there's. I just don't feel like there's any need to rush. We'll come here. Come here, okay. Hmm. Yeah. He's a rookie. We can we could be a little risky with him, and yeah, you'll go here. Okay, so we have something like a resistance against that situation in the north forming up. Elite replacement for you. Uh, for now, I'll eat replacements and give the enemy's turn, and that's that. Yes. Oh, good, we did some damage. And he's dead. But that wasn't a core unit. Yeah, and this guy's dead. Oh. That's a panther. Oh my god, they eliminated us. Oh, what's this? A 152 millimeter. See, this is what I'm talking about. There's just these <laughs> just random Germans hanging out. Um. Well, we did get one. All right, I'll do this just because. We, obviously. <laughs> and. And now we'll kill both these units. Why? Because what we're going to do is... I'll do this, and then I promise we'll be done. Move the AA guns underneath them, like so. And now we have four air units, so this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. Two, three. You'll come here. Oh, four. Uh, oh, one, three. Perfect. Now he's boxed in, and now he's going to die. Uh, I got to end this, but I'm just going to kill one more unit, this guy. Bye. And no need to build these guys up. Yeah, why not? Okay. All right, we'll leave it. We'll leave it here. This needs to be basic replacements. And we'll pick it up next time. Thanks for watching. All the best from the good captain and bye-bye.